Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Re O Re VR, a free to play game on the Steam Store for every headset. Now, this is not going to be a full review, this is more like a first impressions review. I haven't been able to play against anyone so far. Uh, I did see one person on earlier, but by the time I tried to join them, they had already left. So I've only played a single player, and honestly, the single player AI by default is not very smart. Um, in case you're wondering, this is a card game. It's very much like Yu-Gi-Oh! I would consider this a Yu-Gi-Oh! clone for VR. It is a little rough around the edges, though. The UI is not the best. Basically, you touch these orbs to start here, single player, or touch the button to create, touch that orb to quit. And that's your tutorial. <laughs> uh, that information there. Now, we already know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm not going to bother reading through that. So let's go ahead and just start. I do recommend this game. I I've had fun so far. Now, one of the problems, though, is that I do have to play standing. If I'm playing seated, let me sit down to show you. I can't really see the field, so I do need to stand up so I can look at the field. Now, you start off with these five cards, uh, and then you can draw a card. Obviously, you want to draw cards. And as you can see, this monster here requires summons of, well, you have to sacrifice a monster card to summon the Titan Lily. That's what we want to do, but we're going we're gonna to have to start off a little bit slower. So let's go ahead and get our best defense monster on the field. And that would be this Neem Monkey. 1400 defense is our highest. And let's go ahead and end our turn. And you can see here, there's a little monkey there. And he's playing the Flamethrower Beetle, which has 1,200 defense and 1,000 attack. Um, and he attacked my guy already, and he lost 400 health because I had much higher defense, 1,400 versus 1,000 attack. That was not a smart move on his part. So let's go ahead and attack. And switch position and draw a card okay I should have drawn the card first so let's go ahead and attack and we can attack directly now as it said the enemy UI is not the best he's already losing bad and we can summon our Titan Lily next move so he's in trouble so um, we're gonna Put this guy on defense mode. And he has a skeleton soldier with 800 health. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon our Titan Lily. Oh, we can't. I'm sorry. We already put one defense monster on. But we can attack. So 1400. Attack. Attack. And we can end our turn. Now we haven't used any of our magic spells. But I might use my magic spell next turn. We're going to draw a card. Resurrect, resurrect some monster from your graveyard in attack mode. Ooh, okay, I don't think we've lost a monster so far, so I don't need to do that. Increase the attack of monster by 500. So let's go ahead and summon the Titan Lily. Okay. And let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and attack... With Titan Leech, we're, we're gonna play this conservatively. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't have 2000 defense, so. And then we can attack directly. So we're gonna use our magic spells next. <laughs> and let's end our turn. Because we're gonna wipe the floor. We've already, we're already way ahead of this guy. So we're gonna draw a card. And, uh. It doesn't really matter at this point what we do, right? So, uh, we're going to be a little conservatively, and we're going to play a magic spell right now. And we're going to attack. So, yeah, we're a little conservative there. But we won anyway, so it doesn't matter. Boom. 
we win. As you can see, we're up there on the board. Hey, we look a little like Yu-Gi-Oh. And that guy obviously has an invisible face with a funny hairstyle. Uh, there's no customization options as far as I can tell. And you get the fireworks. And th that's pretty much it. You have to click on exit to actually get out of the game. Uh, I do recommend this game. It is fun for what it is, but the AI is just not very good. It's probably more fun against other players. Um, like I said, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh cl clone, basically. Um, so it just needs more players. It is free to play. Uh, so far, there's no like uh, pay to win or DLC or anything like that. So for right now, it is something that you want to play. And the Demon Buck. Whew. I think you can play this one right off the bat. And let's end our turn. If I have to rate this game at right now, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I like the start of this game, but it definitely needs more polish. It, it needs more improvements just to make it uh, more fun to play. Just the interactions, a lot of it's point and click. I like to actually see better interactions, uh, smoother ones, you know, an actual tutorial, an actual single player campaign and it just needs more players so if you're watching this go ahead and download this game i'll put a link on my video where you can download this game and yeah i'm gonna give this game a seven out of ten it's a nice start for a Yu Gi Oh clone but it definitely could be better with more polish and a bigger player community thank you for watching have a wonderful day goodbye but i'm gonna keep playing